everyone, welcome back to Be Terrific. I'm Andrea Fasano, and just a huge thanks. Thanks to all you Terrifics out there for watching, for keeping up with us. We're live all day streaming from New York Comic Con 2015. And I mean, what a second day it's already been. I can't believe it. We're just going, going, going. Um, and you guys, just thank you so much for staying with us. And right now, we have a very special guest, Yumi with Yu-Gi-Oh! by Konami. Konami is a huge, huge, huge brand. So uh, Yumi, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks right for now. having me. Yeah, absolutely. Tell me about Konami. I, I mean, I've seen the name everywhere. Yeah, so Konami Digital Entertainment is a video game publisher yes. and also a trading card game publisher. And then I oversee the trading card game business okay. for North America and Europe. Wow. That's quite a job. It, it, it <laughs> is quite a job sometimes. Do you, do you travel a lot? Yeah, I do, yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> I've been traveling a lot, but just in the United States. And it could be exhausting, but it's it is. so um, thrilling and you know, just exciting sometimes to just and be in different spots. And especially um, at shows like this, you really get to see the, the, the our player base and yes, our fans. Absolutely. And their, their, their enthusiasm, and that really keeps you going. It does, when you're oh tired. that's good. Yeah. See, especially a four day show, like Comic-Con. We're going from 9, 10 in the morning till 5, 6, six 7 at night, seven, right? Yep. So, oh, that's nice. It's kind of rejuvenating then it for is. you. Oh, it's like a testament to what you do in your daily it life. Yeah. Awesome, so tell me about the card game. These are trading cards called Yu-Gi-Oh! Mm -hmm. And what are they? I mean, okay. they're pretty, look at these. These are actually really That's gorgeous cards. a god cards. card. A god card? Mm -hmm. Ooh, did I pick very, up a good card? Very strong card. Ooh. <laughs> So um, the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game is a game of strategy. Um, two players play against each other using monsters, spells, and traps. Okay. And you attack and you defend with your monsters and your spell cards and your trap cards. And the uh, object of the game is to bring your opponent's life points to zero. You start off with 8,000 life points. Wow. So there's a lot of um, uh, social interaction in the game itself. Really? Yeah. And it's all just here in the box. Uh, yes, right, so it's th just the <laughs> card game in the box. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, explain this to me. Because you know, the last card game I played was with numbers and diamonds and <laughs> spades, a little thing. Well, if you see, um, there's um, attack points and defense points on the, okay. on the card itself. Okay. So, oh, and they're a little hologram-ish, yes. right? Yeah, those, uh, that's called an ultra yeah, rare. It's oh, a, there it's you a go, you can card. see that. Okay. Can you see that? Yeah, you yeah. can see that. There and we go. Actually, here's a... And we call this a secret rare. Okay. And you can see the raptor foil. Oh, wow. The artwork. It's really pretty. It is pretty. I would get lost in the game because I'd be like, pretty, pretty card. <laughs> Greg liked that one. I don't call you what Michael calls you. It's just Greg over there. Greg, weigh in on this. How, how do you? I mean, it's, so far. It's, it's, it's pretty awesome. I mean, they also have a television show, too, uh, a cartoon, which is really, really awesome. Oh, Konami or Yu-Gi-Oh? Um, so the company's Konami and our brand is Yu-Gi-Oh. Right. Um, so the, pro um, the property started off 20 years ago. It's actually wow. the 20th anniversary next year. Oh my gosh, okay. Um, it started off as a boy's um, comic book manga property oh my called Yu-Gi-Oh. And then um, the animated series began and the trading card game began. Got it. And so that's what Greg was talking about. Yeah. Okay. Um, and we're, there's five um, s series in the Yu-Gi-Oh animated series. It uh, started off with um, cla the classic series uh, with Yugi. Okay, oh, there he is. He, and she, he. <laughs> I was right, I was yeah. right the first time. <laughs> and uh, we're now on our fifth iteration of the series, and it's called um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5. Okay. We haven't started um, broadcast yet in the United States, but in um, up in Canada, we've started broadcast on uh, Teletoon. Oh, wow. Okay, great. So, I'm so sorry, I distracted you from the 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 name of the game, yeah. basically. Uh, and really quick, why do you start with 8,000 points? Why not 10,000? Well, actually, the TV show is, uh, I think, I believe 10,000. But oh, um, it's just, uh, well, I don't actually know. We'd have to ask the creator that. Really? Yeah. OK. <laughs> Good question, then. Yeah. <laughs> so in our, um, I don't know, in our booth, okay. uh, what, what we've got going on. Um, so it's uh, the booth is dedicated to Yu-Gi-Oh! Although we do have video games on the Konami um, Portfolio. Okay. Um, we just we're just representing the card game um, here at Comic Con. At Comic Con, okay. yeah. Um, you can have your own um, token card created. Oh wow! So like the Yugi card right there. Um, you can actually get featured. So 
with either with the characters or no way or, or <gasps> just yourself look at the that the little logo. comic con oh my gosh that's fun and then you can frame it and put it up that's like a really really nice thing to take away from comic con it is yep um, and it's got I believe it's got the year as well so wow be a nice take out take away absolutely and also in our booth what is it uh, we're having um, an exclusive game map. This is um, Kaiba and uh, the Ultimate Blue Eyes. And uh, we're selling this for $30 mm. at our booth. It's okay. a rubberized game mat. Oh my gosh. And this is what um, players actually play on top on of to, oh, keep, to okay. keep their cards um, safe oh, wow. and clean. So, um, but we're, we're going through it pretty quickly. Really? So, if you so want how much is the mat? It, it's $30. The mat's 30 and then how much is it to get your own oh, card? Oh, this is free. To get it's a card? Yeah. So I could go get one. Yeah. I mean, I would get, you know, <laughs> I could go get one either way, but it, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, what do they just take your photo? Yeah, you just take a photo and then you can kind of pose with the characters oh or you can just gosh. pose with your friends. Amazing. Yeah. Is it a green screen in the it back? Is, yeah. Th yeah. That's the whole setup. So we're going to have to come a by. A lot of people have um, become really creative and they wear green t-shirts. Oh my And gosh. so their body doesn't show and it's just the head. That's it's a bit freaky. So, that's like completely opposite of what they teach you when you're hosting or beginning to host. You never wear green because you <laughs> don't want to <laughs> blend in with the green screen. So this is the complete opposite of that. And uh, you know, if you guys have green, go over to your booth. Where's the booth? It's uh, booth uh, 1320. 1320. If you go through the um, Jurassic World entrance. Yep, on the main right, floor. Right in front. Okay, yeah. wow. Yeah. Yeah. Easy we to get to. We have a prime location. It's great. Awesome. And then also in our booth, um, if you've never played um, Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, we've got a team of volunteers that are teaching people how to play. Okay. And then we actually have some, uh, we're holding some tournaments in the booth too, all day, all really? weekend. It's all free. And we have some um, intro tournaments if, so you can actually learn how to play and then jump into a tournament right there wow. at our booth. All week. All week. All weekend. And all week. if you, so if you bring your own deck, you can uh, participate in tournaments. We've got winner mats going on. Uh, do you list where you win? Well, uh, not this match, right. but <laughs> <laughs> win some, you can win a match. Yeah. Great. And uh, we've got uh, other sealed tournaments as well. If you don't have your own deck, and then uh, Duelist League is uh, also another one for beginners. Oh so gosh. depending on your um, level oh of play, play yeah. Yeah, um, there's something that suits everybody. Oh my goodness. We also have uh, Duel the Master, which is, um, we've brought some uh, North American champions. So Get the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading here. card game, we actually have a world championship every year. What? With um, players from, I believe it's uh, 26 countries. Get out, yeah. where is it usually held? It's, it moves around it from continent to continent. So last year it was in Italy. This year it was in Japan, and next year I don't think we've announced it yet. Okay. <laughs> Is there a certain time of year that it? Usually it's usually takes in place? August. Okay. So you qualify um, at a regional tournament, and then you um, and then you, you earn an invite to the North American World get Championship qualifier. Here. And then if you top that, then you get invited to the World Championship, and we pay for your your flight and accommodation during no your trip. No way. Yep. So do you buy in for the first initial games, the qualifying games? So. Uh, um, like, um, do you have to pay to play? Oh, yeah. So our most of our tournaments um, outside of New York Comic Con, um, okay. at New York Comic Con, it's all free. Right, okay, here um, today. But at a tournament, um, you do um, pay, it depends on if you go to a tournament store, an mm -hmm. official tournament store, we call them OTSs. Oh my gosh. Um, this is such a new world to yeah. me. I'm like, this is amazing. <laughs> well, we've got 1,700 um, official tournament stores in the Americas. Unbelievable. And they're holding weekly um, tournaments for us. We also have regional tournaments where that's where you get your qualification to the World Championship qualifier oh my to go to World. <laughs> but um, it can vary from $2 to $5 to $20 okay, for the so entry fee. It's, kind of, it's affordable. It is, but you also get um, participation product. Okay. So we give you um, the same amount of packs that you paid for. So it's almost like going nice. in for free. And then you, if you do and well, you win. Yeah. You, you get might flown win out to well, the, right. Yeah, <laughs> you may win one. a mat. <laughs> And also in our booth, uh, we've got um, a display case of our, our upcoming product line. Okay. So this is um, going to be released on November 13th. Okay. And that's why I brought it. It's, a, it's more of a holiday item. Oh, cool. And it's also the first time we're showing it um, to the general public. Really? That's why I thought I'd bring it by. Um, the this, God it's called um, Yugi's crazy. Legendary Decks, and it's, it features um, the original series, uh, the classic series, with Yugi and Yugi's um, Yami Yugi. And there's three different 41-card uh, decks in here from uh, Duelist 
Duelist Kingdom, Battle City, and also the finale of um, the original series, plus all of these extra cards as well. Wow. And this retails for uh, $29.99. Okay. And it'll be, as I said, it'll be out in November um, 13th. Um, it's also the first time that you can get all the um, uh, Exodia parts. There's five pieces of Exodia. Uh, what's uh, Exodia? Exodia, uh, um, we call them Exodia the Forbidden One. Oh, okay. And uh, if you are able to assemble all parts of, um, all the pieces of Exodia, uh -huh. you win the duel. You automatically just win the duel. And really? And uh, it's Exodia. in the ultra rare um, rarity, so oh, it's all very I'll shiny. Here. All of them, <laughs> all five there you pieces. Go. It's in the package too. And it's, it's actually the first time that we've um, Put it. Put all five pieces in the same product. Oh, as well, really? So. There he is. Okay, we'll put that back down. <laughs> so, can I ask you? Sure. Being uh, a representative for Yu-Gi-Oh, do you play? Um, I know enough to be dangerous. You do. <laughs> you do. <laughs> yeah. You can dabble. You can I dabble. do. Yeah, I do. Um, <laughs> and when you have, you have to have some sort of love for the game and in this kind yeah, of it's, world. It's really the. Um, when you go to these tournaments, so we have these uh, premier level tournaments called uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Championship Series. Okay. They're called YCSs. And they vary in attendance from 800 to, uh, we actually broke the uh, Guinness Book of World Records um, in 2013 with the largest single um, uh, card game tournament wow. in the world with 4,300 people. <gasps> Oh and that was goodness. in Long Beach. Um, really? But, yeah. Long Beach <laughs> in California. Okay, I was yeah, going to say New York or California. <laughs> yeah. Got it. But um, it's just seeing the enthusiasm of our players, it just makes it all the wor worthwhile. Yeah. And then, you know, you get to know some of these kids because they keep, they, they all come to the same um, events. Right. And they come up and say, Yumi, guess what I play today? And oh my <laughs> gosh, they get so excited. So it is, it's fun. That's very fun. And then the parents, of course, um, we also have uh, tournaments that are geared towards um, the 12 and under. Okay. Um, and so they have a special, um, it's a special group so that Aww. they don't have to compete against the, the older, older kids. Yeah, that, that may that get it a little it more. intimidating yeah. sometimes. I'm sure. But the, uh, the parents all say that, um, you know, their children were, um, maybe they were introverted, um, they didn't have very many friends, but when they started Yu-Gi-Oh, they were able to make friends with like-minded. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, the social interaction of the game itself has um, really improved their, you know, they've improved their sportsmanship mm -hmm. and also um, just their um, level of communication. Yep. And um, in terms of their report card as well, um, because you're doing math all the time and strategic thinking because you have to think ahead a number of steps. Like, what is your opponent going to play? Wow. If I play this card, what's my opponent going to play? So you get used to the strategic thinking as well. Interesting. And so they, they say that um, it improves their, their report cards. So, so I'd say, yeah, that's such so a So there's an educational thing. component. Yeah. Um, even though it's not down your throat kind of thing. You know? Right, exactly. Yeah. It's not subliminal either. Yeah. It's just, just part of the game. It, it, it is. Comes with the whole package, I guess, <laughs> you could and say. We haven't been here since 2009. It's the first time oh since wow. 2009, but our booth has been full the entire day from yesterday. That's awesome. Um, people wanting to learn how to play, or they bring their own decks and they want to play tournaments, or they want to um, duel the master. Right. Which is um, our, we've got two um, masters who actually represented North America at the World Championship. Wow. Yeah, so <laughs> to be able to beat him, uh, one Amazing. of those players. I'm yeah. sure these guys would feel great. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Really quick question, where are you from? Um, well, I was born in Japan, but uh -huh. I, I moved to Ireland when I was um, seven um, with I my family. I sense your accent, and I'm like, that is Yeah, if not I have a couple of drinks, um, <laughs> my Irish accent becomes a bit stronger. <laughs> when you were what age? Uh, when I was seven, oh, and I was wow. there until I was 19. Oh, that's incredible. And I've still got um, my family, my two brothers are out there, and um, they've got, they've already been married to uh, Irish girls. And oh, my goodness. The kids are beautiful, because, you know, amazing. Japanese Irish yeah. kids. Yeah. Very um, cool. Well, Yumi, thank you so much for being with us here today Thanks and talking me. about this awesome game. Um, Yu-Gi-Oh, you can find it where if not just at your booth? You can find it in any um, mass market retailer, Walmart, Target, okay. um, Toys R Us, and also our official tournament stores. Okay. We have a list of uh, the tournament stores on our website, yugiohdustcar.com. 
and uh, you can uh, find a, tur uh, a tournament if you want to um, play in tournaments. Mm -hmm. All of our official tournament stores hold tournaments on a week weekly basis. Awesome. Yumi, thank you so much for Thanks. being here. It was thank so you. lovely speaking with you. You guys, you have it. Yu-Gi-Oh! Go play. It's educational, which is what we're all about here at Be Terrific. <laughs> Don't tell anyone, though. Um, thank you so much. You guys stay tuned. We have much more coming up live streaming from New York Comic Con 2015. We'll be back right after this. Thank you.